Join Lori Moore as she disconnects from technology and reconnects with the hands-on projects she loves. She might just inspire you to spend more time offline too. Hey everyone, it's Lori, and on this weekend's edition of More Time Offline, I had to come down to the basement. My family's all home, and I tried to set up upstairs, and there are dogs barking and people barging in, and it's just constant commotion. So I'm down here, and since I'm at the bar, I figured I had to pour myself a glass of wine. So I am going to drink and craft, and Hopefully you won't hear too much noise coming from upstairs. The dog just dropped the bone. I heard somebody walking around, so I will apologize in advance. Um, I'm trying to hide. So what we're gonna do, I am going to show you how to take a grocery store bouquet of flowers and turn it into a beautiful centerpiece or hostess gift. It just really jazzes up. A regular bouquet. These are gorgeous, but I don't know about you. When I cut open these and I put them in the vase and they all just kind of flop, they just, I don't know, they never look as pretty as they do when they're all bunched up in here. So I'm going to show you how to take this, find a container, something neat and different, unexpected. This is an old wooden box and I have this plastic uh, just bowl that fits inside. And I got these foam floral blocks and I cut, cut them to shape to fit in here. And this is what I'm gonna use for my base. And I have the flowers. And the other thing I did was I went out in my yard and I foraged for greens. So go out back, do some clippings. If you don't have any, I don't know, sneak into your neighbor's yard, grab some from there. Um, you could probably even buy these at the grocery store as well but I like to uh, cut costs and save money and it gives me an excuse to trim back some of my bushes that are a little out of control. So stay tuned and I will show you how you can take a grocery store bouquet and turn it into a beautiful masterpiece. Okay, step one is just to cut open your bouquet. And you're going to take your flowers you may not use all of them. Find the most substantial ones, the roses, and measure out. Always cut a little long, you can trim. Once you cut too short, you're kind of in trouble. So cut to find the height of your center. And get that one in there and you're going to build around you can peel off some of these extra um, greens if you need to all right so here i have the center and that's probably a good height i might even go a little bit lower Perfect. And I'm just going to start building out around. Ooh, I just broke this one. I'll save this. It can be used on the edge later. Okay, so I have been cutting and just putting flowers in, going around and around, seeing where I have spots. You'll notice I do still have a few spots that look a little bare. So this is where all of those cut greens are gonna come into play. So here it is without greens. And I'm just going to start finding pieces that look like they'll work. Trimming them down and plugging them in. Ch 
check back with you in a few and show you the finished product. So I am just tucking in the last of the greens. These really do an amazing job filling in those vacant spaces. The tricky part is once it gets so full, it's hard to get the greens secured into the foam block. So you need to be delicate and patient. All right. So here you have it, the finished product. There's always one side that looks a little bit better than the others. So I just need to fill it up with water and it makes such a gorgeous presentation. I hope I've inspired you to spend a little more time offline this weekend.